Welcome back to Crowbro Studio. Today I have another Lego mock. This one is um, the Battle of Hoth. So here's just an overview of what we're going to be looking at. And now I'll go into the different parts. So the first part that I'm going to look at here is the actual trench. Um, that's what I start off building. So I've got a pipe in there. Got rebels defending it. A little ramp coming out of it with a scared guard running away, as usual. And then also, when I'm looking at pictures of the trenches, they've got these nice, um, kind of that's where you step instead of on the snow. And so I thought that looks pretty important detail, so I think it made it look a lot better than just an empty ditch. Then, along with the rebels in the trench, we've got one on a tauntaun, and as I said, the guard and the wizard back here. And I got him at that angle of it because I just, I cheated. I used one of those rotating pieces. And so that is that part of the trench, or that part of that mock. Now we'll go to the next part. So the second part here is pretty much everything else. So we've got the Imperials attacking the rebels. And they've got Darth Vader with them, and a couple snow troopers. And then out here, we've got the crashed, or the wing of a blown up um, snow speeder. So it left a bit of a trail coming behind it. And then, um, just to explain what this is really quick, if you played the old LEGO Star Wars video game, you would understand, if you're a true Star Wars fan, get a good look at that. It's called a mini kit. You'd have to collect them. So I just thought it's cool to have those in Star Wars mocks. And yeah, there's another little ditch over here. A crater. So yeah, that's the rest of the mock. Now there's one more thing I want to go over. And that is, seeing as the trench, that starts below, or that starts right on the platform here. Which means everything else has to be elevated. So on this side, I've got a nice border, just to, so you don't have to look at the inside. But I'm just going to show you really quick what it looks like. So yellow is usually my filler brick. So I think on all the mocks that I've had a hill or anything, there's a bunch of yellow inside of it. But this one, since it's a really big area, I decided to use something a bit bigger than just a couple blocks stacked on top of each other. So I used these big green platforms. And so that border, that's only on one side. So all the other sides, they all have an open thing so you can look in at the inside of my mock. So I think the hardest part about this was getting all these white bricks on top and making it look kind of nice. So that's what it looks like inside. So now I will show you guys all the characters. These are all the Lego minifigures I use in this mock. So here I've got Darth Vader, some snow troopers, on this side a bunch of rebels, and then the scared guard and the wizard. So a pretty small mock in terms of minifigures, but honestly I think it's one of the coolest mocks I've made. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.